video I'm gonna give you a short demonstration of my project that is basically based on video processing on Zing platform. So the name of my project is the implementation of uh, object tracking algorithm on Zing platform using high level synthesis. So here I'm gonna show you the setup of my project. So here is the Zyber board and you can see there are three cables uh, one this one is basically the mini USB and it is used for the power up uh, for Zybo and UART communication and this cable is basically for HDMI input and this is connected with my laptop and this is the VGA it is connected with the monitor you can see here all right So here is the complete setup for demonstration and this is a lamp that I'm gonna use as a red object. And now um, let me show you the block diagrams and the other stuff in my laptop here. So here is the complete system on chip uh, block diagram of the project and here is my IP that I created using HLS. So let me tell you the design flow of the project. So here you can see the TMDS port that is basically connected with the Zybo and it is the HDMI in. And the signal is processed through the design and then converted back into the VGA here through another IP called RGB to VGA. So this is the complete design now. All right. So let me open the Vivardo HLS and I'm gonna show you the synthesis results for the IP which I created. So basically I implemented one dimensional half transform algorithm for object tracking using high level synthesis. So let me show you the synthesis results here again. So uh, my IP works on 142 megahertz clock rate so the time period is gonna be 7 nanoseconds here and you can see the maximum latency is 2099032 so let me open you the image as I uh, saved it for you so if you just multiply this maximum latency with the time period it's gonna be 14.6 milliseconds while for 60 frames per second if we calculate it so it's gonna be 16.7 milliseconds so my IP would work with 60 FPS as well as 30 FPS alright so again I'm switching back to the HLS and here I'm gonna show you the resource utilization for this IP so it just used 33% uh, block RAM and uh, just 26 DSP 48 blocks and 29% um, flip flops and 70% LUTs because uh, it has uh, arrays to implement the algorithm so and here is the SDK application for the project alright here's so this is basically the SDK terminal and on SDK I am printing the centroid and the radius of whatever the object is. Let me uh, show you the complete utilization of the system on chip design. So I have already opened that file for you. So this is basically the utilization here and uh, I highlighted the IP that I created using HLS and here is the summary if you can look at it. So it's time for the demonstration. I have already downloaded the bit screen and uh, I am running the application as well. So let me uh, minimize it so that I can show you here. I drew three circles, three different circles with different colors because my design is scalable and uh, I can change the colors as well so here's the window I just minimized just to uh, show you the radius and the center right all right 
so here you go you can see the radius and the centroid if I just zoom in the centroid is 399,335 and the radius is 124 and it is basically uh, the radius for the red circle here and now you can see the results this red circle is here all right and I'm gonna change uh, the color through buttons here one more thing you can notice here this LED so the screen is basically divided into three regions and these LEDs this three LEDs from right to left they are displaying the object position I mean the region so the red circle is right now on the left region so this LED is on right now all right so I'm gonna uh, change the color I mean now I'm gonna track the blue one so I just pull it up all right and now this is the blue one and this is in the middle all right then the LED change to the second one and if I am going for the green one so let me change here the green one here and you can see the LED here that is basically displaying the region so this is the right region okay so I'm gonna just move the ball and you can see on both screens And if I change the position, the LEDs will change. If you can look at all right. So this is basically the center right here. If you see this one here, this is between the center right. And one more thing, I'm gonna show you a YouTube video that has a uh, red color circles here so just let me play it just check it so you can see here this is on the red mode right now so the red ball here and here is the object tracking you see here the dot basically showing the centroid in real time video and I'm and now this is the blue circle so I'm gonna change this one so that I can track the blue here all right and the last thing I'm gonna show you on the real time camera now I'm just using my wave cam as the real-time video so that you can watch uh, how my algorithm works so the lamp uh, was uh, too bright that's why I'm just gonna use my cell phone to brighten up the red object here so here you can see I just put uh, the red object on the screen and you can see on, on black so it is on the real-time tracking here I just move it out here and there and you can see on both screens so from the top view you can uh, observe the LEDs at the same time as I am moving uh, the object from left to right so just uh, concentrate on LEDs which I mentioned so this is basically the middle one the left one the right middle again and the right here So this is a complete demonstration of my project. So if you like my project, please uh, give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching.